Let's, let's come back home and talk about two other Ghanaian teams looking for continental glory. Um, let's talk about Midiam Sporting Club. They were playing in the Champions League. And their only hope was to beat Al Ali here at home to stand any chance of making it out of a very difficult group. That didn't happen. They lost by a goal to nail. And so Midiama are completely out. Um, and listen, you know, it's... <sighs> Sutra, you said this on radio the other day that, you know, Midiama have were always going to struggle. And to make matters worse, they sold one of their best players, if not their best, best player, player. Yeah. Jonathan Sowa to a Libyan club, and coming up against Al Ali, who, by the way, is so professional. They, shipped, they came to Ghana with everything, including water, food, and they were interacting with school children. Like, like the whole package, you can't hate the club, and they got what they deserved. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's Ali, and uh, they were not even at their best on the day against Midiama, but even that, Midiama couldn't find you. And, and it was telling, wasn't it, when you sold your your best player who happens to be your goal scorer, you don't, you don't replace that quality with a snap of the finger. I know Diaris Taylor is back and he's on their, on their team, but what kind of Diaris Taylor do they have back? Is it the Taylor we saw two years ago who was scoring a lot in the Ghana Premier League? The answer in the end was no. I think it's, 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 it's an experience gain, but my problem has always been that the lack of continuity with the group of players, because even though this group of players have gained the experience, maybe the next time Midiama have got opportunity to play, None of them will be around. So what would the experience okay. count for? The experience then will be down to the management team, but even the technical team might not be there. So it's almost always a one-off for, for Ghanaian clubs when, when they play in Africa. And that for me is a disappointing thing. Midiama themselves also let about seven players leave for Moldova. Yeah. You know? Malta. I Malta. Yeah. Maltese clubs. Yeah. I, I, before the campaign even started. So I think all of that are combined. And those were crucial in no, very, winning the league. Yeah. They were very important players to them in winning the league. So we just knew that, that it was going to be tough, especially in the Champions League. The Champions League is a different ball game altogether. And so, yeah, they, they, did, they, did, they did put up some spirited fights here and there, but in the end, it wasn't good enough. Let's show you confirmation of Mediamers group standings. I think they were in Group D, I believe, yeah. uh, and what that looks like right now. Uh, just go through the groups for you. Uh, fully... Uh, who has made it to the uh, quarterfinals and who still has an opportunity to do that. Okay, Midiam have no chance whatsoever. So this is Group A in the CAF uh, Champions League. This is the CAF uh, Confederation Cup, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is Confederation Cup. Uh, this is Champions League, yeah. thank you. Now, this is Group A. Uh, the standings are there. This is TP Mazembe, Mamelodi Sandam. Clear winners. The difference there is huge. Yeah. FC Nuadibo, Pyramids, both out. So, Mazambi and Mamelodi Sundowns through to the, uh, to the quarterfinals. Let's go to Group B then um, and show you. So, Asek Mimosa, uh, also true to the quarterfinals. Simba FC and Wedat AC have it all to do in that last game. In fact, even Joanen Galaxy also yeah. still have a chance. Uh, in that last uh, group game. Now, Group C, uh, Atle uh, Petro Atletico, if you like, with nine points, uh, not, uh, are they yeah, they're technically true, yeah, but it is true, but ES Tunis. Where well. they finish will be, be the uh, That's it. So they're technically true. So at Petro Atletico have sealed their place in the quarterfinals, but ES Tunis, Al Ali, and Esperance, uh, all of them still... No, uh, sorry, out. and Setif, sorry. Yes, Setif. ESS is Setif. Um, still with an opportunity going into the last game. This is Media Mace Group. Al Ali, with nine points, have sealed their own qualification where they finish uh, in the group Easter issue. Young Africans uh, still have a chance, so do CR Blue Star. But Media Mace, of course, absolutely no chance of making it to the quarterfinals. All right. Let's talk about the CAF Confederation Cup. That's where there is hope for Ghanaian clubs. Dreams FC, uh, they played at home to Club Africa, and they won by a goal to nail uh, as well. And that game was played in Kumase, and they ended 1-0 on Sunday in favor of Dreams FC, which is taking them up to 12 points now, Daniel. But interestingly, they're still not true. Mm. But that's wild. To, to get 12 points... From the group stages and not qualify would be a great injustice. Look, they are, they are basically through. 
they are they are all bad there. They they look at the stand. It's going to take a lot not to for, for them not to qualify. But for me, it's it's been a remarkable journey. Look, this is a uh, a relatively young team yeah. or a relatively young side. Um, first time they are competing on the continent. They've gone through the qualifiers. They've gone through the group stages. And as at the last, but or T minus one uh, match day in the group stages, they are sitting on top of, of the standings. It's a remarkable story for Ghana football. We know the state that we are in, but for especially this season, to have two, cl uh, two clubs in the group stages of the Cup Interclub and for, to have a chance for Dreams FC to go through to the uh, quarterfinals of the Conference Cup will be huge. And for me, again, mathematically, they are not yet through. But we know that they are, they are basically there. They are basically there. And that will be huge. We are just waiting for that last match day for them to do what is necessary for them to go through. But it's, it's brilliant. Karim Zito and, and uh, the guys at Dreams FC have done a, a fantastic job. Um, I'm sure <laughs> they may not be the choice of, of Ghanaians. Uh, for Ghanaians, obviously, in terms of the team that will go out and, and, and go and do well. But they've done it anyway. And yeah. it brings a lot of, it brings a lot of uh, a hope to our football that this is possible. Look, if you do the right things, you can actually go out there and succeed. And for me, I'm really, really hoping that yeah. uh, they will go, although I believe that they are basically already qualified. No, but, 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 but their last game is against Rivers United. Yeah. Yeah, away in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And Rivers United, if they win, if yeah. they win, then Dream Safety are in trouble. Especially, That's the problem. Especially knowing that Club yeah. African will beat... Uh, 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 Lobito. 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 Absolutely. So that last game, they, they, need, they see, need to avoid a defeat. Yeah. A draw, a win, they, they go I'm, through. I'm saying they are basically through because goal difference favors them. Head to head favors them. No, so, this is the problem though. Head to head, head is what Carve uses first. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, they beat them 2 1 here. Mm -hmm. So if they win. Uh, more, 1 the, 0. Yeah. If they yeah. win 1 0, win one zero, one zero they have problem. an away goal here. Okay. So yeah. dreams are out. So there's still, there's still plenty so hanging it is, on that. No, it is a, a lot is hanging on it. <laughs> the, the only, I guarantee you, the only way dreams go to is get a draw or win. Nigeria. Get a draw or win. Yeah, or win. Yeah, yeah, win. Exactly. Because yeah. if they even lose 1 0, it's a problem. Yes, the head to head will come down to two goals apiece, but then they scored here. Yeah. And dreams didn't. That's well, the problem. As for, as for Lobito. No, no, of course. Oh, you mean, you mean you know, you said that they have zero they points. Why did they come? They are going to play against away to Club Africans. So There's can, no chance. Can do as if oh, ah, brother. Alexander. Brother, zero. they have zero. Zero minus 11. So, why did they come? <laughs> So they are not true. So there's there's plenty so, of that. That's a disappointment there. because to have twelve points and not make it would be an absolute travesty. Yeah. So yeah, we wish them all the best. I think they've done an incredible job to even put themselves in this position yeah. where yeah. going into the final fixture, they still have an opportunity. So yeah, all the best to your mini shadow and his team. All right, interesting. So all the best to Dreams FC, uh, who uh, have a chance to make history. They have debut first ever season in the CAF Confederation Cup. Like Sicho said, even if they don't make it, and we hope they do, they've still left an indelible mark in this competition and they can learn from it. And maybe next time they are in there, they will do a really good job. And Dreams have recruited really well, bringing in yeah, yeah. John Enchi, that's a lot of experience. Uh, combining that experience with the youngster, yeah. the youngsters yeah. like Aziz, it's really... Yeah. Yeah. And they're still going strong in the FA Cup, so who knows, they, they might still back be back, there. Yeah. They might still the win the FA Cup back. and then go back, So, and that will be experience for them. Interesting. Alright, cool.